I see you didn't scream, no. So, that's why it's not a good deal. Shalom, first and foremost. I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, <coughs> who were well. Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truth and sincere. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truth and sincerely. I say, uh, Shalom to the Akim out there. And uh, this is a uh, sit down lesson for September 26, 2022, at 9 09 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this is a news article from the Associated Press and published by Damian J. Truss and Alex Viegra, if I pronounced the name right. <clears throat> and uh, the highlight of this news article when it reads says stocks fall as recession fears the Dow Jones slip is to into a bear market. And it says the Dow Jones industrial average became the last of the major U.S. stock index to fall in what's known as a bear market Monday as the uh, market depends on its slump amending growth fears of a global recession the blue chip index fell 1.1% while the S&P 500 500 closed 1% lower and the Nasdaq dropped 0.6 as the index extended their losing streak for the script, I mean, uh, they are losing squeak to a fifth day. The British pound dropped to an all time low against the dollar, and investors continue to dump British government bonds in displeasure of a sweeping tax cut plan announced in London last week. <clears throat> they said markets in Europe close mostly low. The head of the European Central Bank warns that the economy outlook is dark. And, and wow, the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah, as I've been mentioning it in my previous videos in regards to the, you know, the the markets, the financial uh, Wall Street markets and stuff like that, you know, I kept on repeating and saying that every time, you know, the markets react to what's going on globally, economically, or people that makes certain announcements in regards to the economy, you know, on a global scale, you know, the, the stocks and bonds, it, it reacts to what's going on economically, globally, uh, what uh, plans that's going to be announced. And, you know, a lot of times the stocks and markets, they react to that as that reaction came. So, hey, the stocks over there in London crashed as well, too, as over here as the United States as well, as too, you know. So the stocks and market reacts to what's going on and what's being announced, you know. It says markets in Europe closed mostly low. The head of the European Central Bank warned that the economic outlook is darkened as a high energy and food prices, right, just like a couple, about a month ago, I believe, close to, close to about two months, but mostly like a month and a half ago, I did a video of, you know, the inflation rate and the consumer prices reached at an all-time high over there in the UK, you know. In one place over there in Denmark as well too, uh, I believe the the inflation was like 10.5 percent. So yeah, you've been seeing these things increasingly. You know, high gas prices, high inflation throughout the roof, consumer spendings now higher now more than ever. You know, and it says the central bank warns that the economic outlook is darkening as the high energy and food prices pushed by the war in Ukraine. The sap 
consumer spending power France, the EU second biggest economy forecast substantial slowdown in economic growth next year and the US stocks index has been losing ground coming off a fifth week loss in six weeks so you know um, Slovakia so yeah that shows you more uh, continuing growing signs of modern day Babylon is far you know like the scripture says in the book of Revelation Babylon is falling and it's falling and which it is definitely on an economic scale an increase on an economic scale because you're seeing the continuing the stocks market uh, like fifth grade uh, the fifth grade day on losing script from all the way from last week all the way to this new week coming up on Monday as I believe the Dow Jones was like negative 323 as it continued a fear of a recession as the federal uh, the federal uh, the feds of uh, Wall Street uh, c continue to raise the uh, interest rate heights uh, of a uh, fearing of a continual increase of uh, inflation as they continue to discuss and find ways to ease the uh, inflation even if it cost the even if it cost the economy to be in recession and the economy continues to decline you know so that shows you more increase of uh, modern day Babylon is falling on the economic scale and I won't be surprised this trend continues, you know. So with that, you know, I just want to bring out this little quick sit down lesson in regards to the, um, you know, the stocks and market have crashed, especially over there in the UK as well, too. So that shows you more signs of modern day Babylon as well. Okay. 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 I'll be in there a minute. So with that, uh, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shab, Hashem, and Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And before I close, I can sit down lesson on September 26, 2022, on this Monday night, 9 16 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that shows you another clear client. A clear example that modern day Babylon is falling as the stocks continues to drop and the trend might continue, you know. So, with that, I will say Shalom and a ball ball.